Hi, my name is Bill McPhee. I'm the CEO of Magpie Media Inc., your partners in mental wellness. Today I'm going to talk about positive and negative symptoms with schizophrenia. Basically, positive symptoms are symptoms that are added to our personality that should not be there. For example, if we hear voices, if we're paranoid, if we're delusional, um, because of the chemical imbalance, our senses of hearing become more heightened, our sense of smell is heightened, we see colors uh, brighter, uh, colors are uh, refracting, we see the different lights, dark colors are uh, become blacker and darker. These things are known as positive symptoms because they're added to our personality and they should not be there. As well with schizophrenia, we have what's called known as deficit symptoms or negative symptoms. And these symptoms are basically symptoms that are lacking from our personality that should be there. For example, if we have uh, a lack of motivation, a lack of drive, a lack of energy, depression could set in, we have uh, an emotional bluntness or a blandness, a lack of joy, these things are due because of negative symptoms uh, uh, or deficit symptoms of schizophrenia. So again, usually with schizophrenia, uh, we have positive symptoms and negative symptoms. I want to encourage you that if you have any questions uh, regarding recovery, I would like to uh, share uh, and help you to be your partner in recovery, to be your partner in mental wellness. So if you have any questions of me regarding uh, recovery, just email me at bmcfee at magpiemags.com. That's B-M-A-C-P-H-E-E -E at magpie, M-A-G-P-I-E, then mags, M-A-G-S dot com. And I'd be happy to help you and look forward to being your partner in mental wellness.